in, in Broken Light, there is a scene actually in a bookshop where there's a mother with a child and the mother tries to, I wouldn't even say influence the child. I think she really tells the child what the child is allowed to read and what not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she does. I know. I've seen this happen. Um, from time to time, um, I go out and, and volunteer in my local independent bookshop. And I, I did this uh, a couple of years running before before lockdown happened and then the bookshop stopped happening. But uh, and I, I saw this. It was a, a woman who, who was trying to persuade her son not to buy a book that she thought was a girl's book. Um, and she said, look, it's a girl's book. It's got a pink cover. <laughs> and the little boy really wanted to buy this wretched book. And so I said to him, no, it's, it's, it's not pink. It's heliotrope. <laughs> my mother just looked at me and I said yeah heliotrope it's a it's a flower it's also you know it's it's uh it, it's a Greek word it means turns to the sun and it's also a kind of it's a kind of of essence called dragon's blood and his ears pricked up and, oh oh so it's not pink and I said of course it's not pink of course you can have it and the mother was kind of going <laughs> so but it's 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 funny isn't it how how children are more and more expected to to gravitate towards the the books of their tribe and I don't think it's a helpful thing because you know I, I meet a lot of proudly that they just don't read books by women and I know where those men came from they came from little boys who were told not to read books about girls or books with pink covers as if that was going to make a difference to their brains somehow but, I mean I, I was a teacher also for 15 years and and I taught in a boys school for most of that time and it was clear to me that a lot of the boys that I taught were not only not reading fiction, but they were actually discouraged from reading by their fathers who thought that they should be, I don't know, having cold showers or going to chapel or playing rugby or something, who, who felt that somehow reading was, was not an appropriate thing for an adolescent boy to do, that somehow it would make them soft. And I was constantly trying to push back against this thing.